How you doing guys? This is Atani with JNR and today we'll be taking a look at three netbooks. Now the netbook is an interesting uh, device. It's a fairly small computer. It's been really popular the last year and a half and it's easy to see why. As you can see by the form factor it's really small but it offers a tremendous amount of value because it's very uh, inexpensive. So it's a small computer. You can do everything that you can do on a regular computer for basic computing tasks like uh, checking the internet, checking your email, basic uh, word processing. This can do that. So if that's all you want to do, this is a very smart purchase. So we'll be taking a look at three of these netbooks. These are three popular models. The first one we'll take a look at is the Acer Aspire 1. It has an 8.9 inch widescreen display with a native resolution of 1024 by 600. So it's nice and crisp, but obviously it's fairly small and compact. So if you need something to travel or if you need something for notes in, the, in your classroom, this is an excellent choice. It does have one gig of RAM built in, so it has all the memory that you could need. This has an Intel Atom processor. It's the N270. All three of them do. Most netbooks have um, Atom processors because they're so small. It has a 120 gig hard drive, so it's enough for the basic things that you need to do. Um, what I like about it is that um, it has an integrated webcam right here. Comes with Windows XP, so has everything you need for basic computing. Built-in stereo speakers, Wi-Fi 802.11bg, obviously. Um, if you're in a park, if you're a hipster at Starbucks, Fantastic. In terms of connectivity, if you, I'll just flip it around. Right here is the VGA port, and right next to the VGA port is the Ethernet LAN port, and right next to that is the USB port, and over here is the SD card slot, so you can put your SD card in, look at pictures, or look at whatever you have on your SD card. And on the other side, you have the multi-in-one card reader, so you can put MMC or XD or SD cards here. And you also have two other USB 2.0, might I add, ports. And you have the headphone jack and you have your microphone jack. As you can see, I'm holding this netbook with one hand. It's that light. It's uh, a little over two pounds, 2.19 pounds to be exact. Um, this won't weigh you down at all. It's fantastic. It does have stereo speakers. I forgot to talk about that, but the stereo speakers are right here on the bottom. And there you have it. This is the Acer Aspire 1 netbook. Um, fantastic, fantastic choice if you want a small uh, netbook. The next netbook we'll be looking at is the uh, HP Mini. It's fairly similar to the Acer Aspire 1. Um, like the Acer Aspire 1, it has an um, Intel Atom N270 um, processor, 1.6 gigahertz. Um, like the Acer Aspire 1, it also has an 8.9 inch uh, widescreen display with a native resolution of uh, 1024 by 600. Unlike the Acer Aspire 1 that has a uh, hard drive in there. This has an 8 gig solid state drive. What I do like about this is that um, the speakers right here sound really crisp. Now, for a netbook this small, I was blown away by uh, the, the speaker quality. It's not to say it's audiophile quality. Don't expect uh, $10,000 uh, sound out of this, but it sounds fantastic for an uh, inexpensive netbook like this. This has a webcam also, an integrated webcam right here in the middle. Right here is a USB port. And over here is the microphone and headphone jack. And you might not be able to see it, but I'll flip it out because they have this hidden real good. That's an Ethernet LAN port right here behind this uh, little flap. It's fairly hard to see and it's hidden stealthily. So unless you knew where to look for it, you wouldn't really see it. On the other side right here, we have another USB 2.0 port. And right next to it is a two-in-one card reader. So if you have an SD card or an MMC card, you could just put that in there. Again, this is the HP Mini. It's a fairly popular netbook. The last but certainly not least um, netbook we'll be taking a look at is the MSI Wind. Um, as opposed to the uh, HP Mini and the Acer Aspire 1, this is a little bit larger. It has a 10-inch screen as opposed to um, the 8.9-inch screen that the other two netbooks had. But it's still fairly light. It's only 2.3 pounds. Um, the HP Mini is 2.2 pounds and the Acer Spire 1 is uh, 2.19 pounds. So they're all in the same ballpark. They're all just slightly over 2 pounds. Like the other two, this has an Intel Atom N270 processor, 1.6 gigahertz. Um, it's fast. It has 802.11 um, BG Wi-Fi. So 
connectivity is fantastic. It also has an integrated webcam right here like the other two, it's right here in the middle. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a little bit bigger. The screen is uh, 10 inches, but the native resolution is identical to the other, other two uh, netbooks. It's 1024 by 600. Um, it comes with a 120 gig hard drive inside. So um, that's enough for basic computing tasks, um, checking email, um, documents and that kind of stuff. So this is a very good netbook. Um, in terms of connectivity, I'll just flip it to the side so you can see. There are two uh, USB inputs right here. Connectivity on the other side, there's an Ethernet LAN port right here. Right next to it is a VGA port. Right next to the VGA port, there's a headphone input, there's a microphone input, and there's a card reader. This is a 4-in-1 card reader, so if you have an MMC card or an SD card, just slide that in there, it'll work. And right next to the card reader is a, is a USB port. So there you have it. This is the MSI Wind, the HP Mini, and the Acer Spire 1. In terms of technical specs, all three netbooks are fairly similar, and um, I don't think you could go wrong with any of these choices for a netbook. If you do want to purchase one of these netbooks, please feel free to go to www.jr.com. We have these three netbooks in stock and many, many more choices. If you're local, um, please feel free to come down to the JNR Computer Store. We're located at 15 Park Row, um, Lower Manhattan. You can't miss us. JNR takes up an entire city block. We've been there since 1971. 37 years, we'll hopefully be there for another 37 and probably many more, so please feel free to stop by. Can't wait to see you. Until next time, later.